But here's our good friend Graham been hanging on. Uh, good afternoon, Graham, and it's one of our dear old friends. And uh, some, something that you've got to you know, be pretty sure of your stuff before you enter the most dangerous pitch in the world. Graham, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Danny. Thank uh, you. I'd like to nominate uh, the pitch from Dunfermline um, from about three, four seasons ago. Dunfermline's pitch? Yeah. Professional team? OK, go on. Okay. Um, about three, four seasons ago, my daughter and I, who was ten at the time, decided we would sort of try and visit every Scottish league ground um, in a season. That's a good thing. So every Friday night we would sit with the fixtures and say, right, where are we going to go tomorrow? Hmm. Imagine our glee when we saw that Dunfermline were opening um, their new plastic pitch. Ooh, OK. It's been approved apparently by FIFA and everything mm-hmm. uh, the next day. That's where we're heading. So we arrive in Dunfermline only to find out that the added attraction of Jean-Pierre Papin, Carol Heinz Riedler and Ian Rush will be performing the ceremony. Oh, that's an that's odd triumvirate, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, just, it is odd, isn't it? How many stories end up saying Jean-Pierre Papin's name? Just, <laughs> he just turns up all the time, doesn't he? Well, is it very good? I've got my, I'm, I'm, in Dunfermline. And not to cut across, Graham, here, I must warn you, fantastic story coming up before the end of the show about the equally legendary and, of course, amazingly eccentric Paul Breitner. Okay. Much about the Biafroed white German fullback very, very good. soon. Meanwhile, back with Papa and Co. So there it is. You're thinking, this is, here's a day out then. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Did they, didn't any, any of them just go for the big laugh and crash it past them? Yeah. <laughs> Leaving the kid crying on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Gives him a lollipop. Take it easy, kid. It's showbiz. A, a horrendous game. Absolutely hopeless game. Yeah. It, going towards a 0-0. Um, we're sort of looking around thinking this is just miserable. But all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, a streaker appears. A streaker? OK, all right. A streaker uh, with the short ginger hair, uh. typical Scott. Male or female? Male. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> runs on onto the park and starts running about the pitch. Of course, the wild cheers from everyone else who's sort of livened up the proceedings. I'm sure Pat Pan was cheering as well. <laughs> and uh, out of the blue, decides then to do a Quinsman. Oh, oh, OK. So, OK. He's going, all right, OK. So this fellow thinks, I'm going very well. How can I finish it rather spectacularly, as you say, with the Quinsman? OK. Stands up and has a chair. Part, front part of his body to match his hair colour. No, so this fella like launched himself on, on, on this new newish turf, yeah, and, and approximately skidded how far? I would say a good 20 yards. 20 yards? He hadn't weighed up the idea that this was going to, as you say, lacerate no. his penis. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's a situation of police feeling sorry for him rather than arrest him. And, and did, he, did he register the agony? Did he, the, the outrage, the, 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 the shock? There was a, a definite. Uh, yeah, and, 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 you know, young kids, as you said, who were taking part in this penalty shootout, having been exposed already to one part of bad show business, now see it's Nadia. Uh, did, if, did, did you see the old fella? Let's, let's not be coy here. No, we can do this. Did, did, you, did you see the old fella itself, or was it completely worn to a nub? The whole thing. And was brought around the side of the pitch, round to the tunnel to be led away, and, of course, the police decided to take them the long way round to get yeah. yeah, well, that, you know, I think that's right because people would avert their eyes. Of course they would. And you know, he may even get that kind of rep- applause that when a genuinely injured player is taken off. At least St John's didn't come off. Uh, Dunfermline were asked to rip up the pitch at yeah. uh, the end of the season, but the memory for me lives on, so I'd like to nominate that. You certainly do. And, and, and uh, uh, d- 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 are there any photographs, do you know? Yes, I have. Oh! Oh, I took a punt on that. Uh, and one other thing. Yes, we know of the damage to the individual. What of the turf? Ah, uh, well, who can say? I, I, I certainly, I certainly would not, uh, you know, wouldn't, uh, we all know about the dangers of sliding tackles when the dogs have been around on a Sunday yeah. morning. Yes, But would you indeed do a sliding tackle? We know some fella's old fella, the grosser old man, that, that has been recently been in touch with, I don't know. So it, it's, it's, it's not too much a dangerous pitch, I don't think, there, as, as just a, a damn thundering good story.